Degas, Impressionism and the Paris Millinery Trade. It looks at the work of the great Impressionist artist uh, Edgar Degas. And there have been you know, several exhibitions on Degas and the dancers, on Degas and the nude, uh, Degas and the racetrack. But this is the first uh, exhibition that has looked at the theme of millinery in his work. Um, it's a show that's been in the making for probably close to a decade. The museum had acquired a major painting, Milliners, in 2007, so we wanted to celebrate that painting and contextualize it. Degas is the focus of the exhibition, but it was really important to, you know, to look at those around him in his circle. So you know, we have artists like Edouard Manet, uh, Mary Cassatt, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec. We also have some wonderful hats. You know, that was important in the show to actually include significant period hats by some of the great milliners uh, of the time. Uh, the pastels and the hats in the show are light sensitive, fragile uh, objects. I actually think it kind of lends a sense of drama and sort of moodiness to the exhibition, having that darkness. Degas traveled to America you know, in the early 1870s. He had relatives who lived in Buenos Aires. He had quite a global perspective. That wider interest sort of underpinned his interest in representing you know, hat materials. You can relate the interest in plumage in particular to a wider interest that he has in representing trade, and, and I think particularly global trade. In Paris in the late 19th century and early 20th century, men's hats tended to be more uniform. They were the bowler hat, they were the top hat, they were the boater. But the types of hats that were produced for women uh, were much more creative in terms of their production. They really are art objects. So you'll see in the exhibition just a kind of range of elaborate and exotic trimmings, you know, the wonderful ostrich plumes, uh, the kind of exquisite, delicate, you know, silk and cotton flowers, the range of straw the beautiful different types of ribbon. So there's a great variety in terms of the materials of women's hats. And I think Dugo was fascinated by that, uh, and that really kind of underpinned his interest in millinery as a subject.